Hi everyone, this is Lori from The Crafting Auntie. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to again say welcome to all my new subscribers and those of you that have been uh, following me for a while and joining in on the various projects that I've got going. So today, uh, being Friday, I wanted to continue um, with the train theme. So I was racking my brain what to come up with something. And so I decided that I'm going to put together a train agent badge kind of thing. So uh, kind of an ID badge, but with, with a badge on it. So I happen to have this die. And it's not exactly like a badge, but it was close enough. And when it's cut out, it looks like this. So I thought that was pretty close. And then uh, what I did is I cut another piece of the vintage paper that I got from Amazon. I can link that again down below. And I used this on one of the other projects. So I thought maybe that. And then it comes with, when it cuts out, it cuts out this frame. And so I want to create... A badge on here and I was messing around trying to see what color did I want this badge and uh, what so what I did is I embossed one in silver and the reason why is because I have this metal piece now I believe this is also from Tim Holtz and I want to use this as the badge number on the center so I thought silver would be good and I'm not going to go ahead and do the embossing again but I will show you what I used so I used a silver and it's an opaque embossing powder and honestly it's by Stampendous so you'll probably be able to find it I believe I got this at a scrapbook expo show but I'll put the details of what it is. It is detailed silver, it is opaque, and it's by Stampendous. So that's what I used to get this. So that's going to be the outside of my badge. And this die cuts that out. So it cuts that out and it gives you the center as well. So I just wanted to explain that. I, the, the die, I have no idea. I've had this for quite a while. So the only thing I can say is maybe search for a police badge die or some kind of shape similar to this, whatever you want to. Um, or find a template. Yeah, I'm not really sure where to find it. So I am going to use the green Tim Holtz craft cardstock on the top. I'm going to put this brown on the back so it's not going to make much difference but I am going to sand all of this up so that's the first thing I'm going to do so I want to make this look older and that's why I wasn't sure I was thinking of maybe doing the badge in gold but then when I had the silver piece I thought well let me see if I have any silver embossing powder and fortunately I did so I think that will go a lot better um, also I am going to use a couple of brads and they're also in the silver so here is this distressed and I'm going to go ahead and do the back as well just using a sanding disc like I've done on some of my previous ones just give it a little bit of age. Okay. So let me just clean that up real quick. Grab one of my wipes. And let me clean this up. Get all the dust away so we can continue on. It gets pretty messy doing this, but it does have a great look afterwards whoops put this over here and get these out of the way okay I am going to do stitching as well on this so let's just work on the front piece um, 
I think I want to round the corners. So I'm going to grab my corner rounder. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. You can use any corner rounder you want. Using the larger side on this one. And I'll do the back as well so we all matches up. And I had no idea and I still am not clear on exactly what I'm doing. But we will wing it and get through it. So let me just give these a little more grunge on the corners. Okay. So we've got that. I'm just going to work on the front because I am going to sew these two together. I have this. This is a Tim Holtz. Uh, these are the photo booth. But it says bus here. So what I want to do is I have a frame that I want to put over this. And I'm going to just drop it down a little bit to cover up the word bus. So that's what I'm going to do there. And I'm going to sand this as well. So let's go ahead and get this sanded carefully since it's much thinner. And I just used, again, my square nesting dies that I've used before. Just two different sizes to get this frame. Okay, so I've got that. I'm trying to get all these little pieces figured out here. All right, so back to this. Let's do some ground espresso and let's uh, grunge it up. Don't want it to be new looking. The silver will be new looking enough for the badge, but I just thought it went better. So let's just grunge that up and I want to do the same thing on this carefully. All right. And then, let's see, I want to adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to trim off this little bit on the top. About like that. And that way I can cover up the word bus. So that'll work. And let's just grunge him up a little bit. Folding it. Kind of creasing it, give it an aged look. A little bit of sanding, kind of scratch up a little bit of this, Just give it a little aged look, and also distress it. So it looks much older than it is. All right, so now this will go in here, and I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to work on the badge. So let's get these two pieces out, and I'm going to just glue these two together. So let's just do that, and then we will distress them with some of the ground espresso as well. We'll get this done, match the two up, and press it down. Perfect. Okay, so we have this. Let's now do some distressing on it. We want it to look a little bit older. And using this paper has helped too because it's already got a grunginess about it. 
And I'm also going to go ahead and do a little bit of grunging on this so it's not so bright. So it looks like it's also been around a while. So just adding a little bit around this so it's not quite as shiny and new. Still have the shininess, but not as shiny and new. So now let's see what we got here. So we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing. So I want to line that up like that and make sure it's straight. So probably something like that. And then this guy will probably go next to it like that. So we've got an idea now. I want to do some stamping back here. I have some things to stamp on here. So I want to put train agent. I want to stamp that on this. And I'm going to use these clickable stamps. I have to use the end twice. So let me just get this together. So we got train. I'm going to use fallen leaves. And I want to put train agent and then this metal piece is going to be the badge number. So I like that. So let's see. I may have to stand up for this to make sure I can get it straight. I'll try not to stick my head too far into the camera. Hopefully I'll stay out of it. Just adjust this a little bit. And try to come straight down. That's okay. I'll live with that. And then agent. Let's put this back together. Maybe what I'll do is come over just a little. Whoops. I'll make sure these stay together. I'll just come over just a little bit so it's not completely under each other. Oh, that didn't come out too well. All right. Let's see. What else can we do? How about if I just stamp this on another piece of cardstock and then I can cut it out and put it on that way. And then that way I can make sure I can get it straight. So I was hoping for this, but I don't think it's going to work very well. So let me see. Let me grab a little piece of cardstock. And let's try it again. And then I'll just cut them out. Probably should have done that initially, but I was hoping. And this way I can place them on there. Get my scissors. And I'm just going to cut these pretty close to the letters. Hopefully straight. see kind of a little crooked see if I can adjust that a little bit so then I can put that right over that that'll work and then agent it's kind of raised on a badge I think if I recall right the things are kind of raised on there molded or something this is not the same thing but it's going to get close. So this and this. And then I'll just put it a little bit off center, kind of like that. Okay, so let's get the get them um, uh, distressed. Sorry, lost my train of thought there for a second. Close up my ink and then I'll get these glued down. 
always a way around it. So we've got agent. So let me just make sure that's even. And train. Okay, that looks pretty good. Side up a hair. So let's see. Okay, I can live with that. That's pretty good. All right, so now that we're still in this stage, I want to go ahead and do the punching. Let's see, do I want to do the punching? Or, I don't think I'm going to stitch on this, but I am going to stitch around this. But I want to stitch around this on this. So is that making any sense? Okay, so let's see. Let's do a couple of holes. Try and make sure this is straight. And then I will mark them. Get a pen or a pencil. Here and there. Okay. And my punch is here somewhere. There it is. It's a micro punch. And I'm just going to line it up and punch right over those holes. Right there. And right there. And then we've got our badge and my two brads. So let's go ahead and put the brads through. It's one and the other. Okay, so now we've got this. I like it. I like it. So far, so good. Okay, so that will go there. Still need to do some stamping. Let me get the scissors out of the way here. Still need to do stamping. So that will go there. And then this, I want to go right about there. So I'm going to mark it with a pencil so I know where I'm stitching trying to get that even yeah it's going to come this way just a little bit so I'm thinking right about there you know I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down I think that will make life easier so we'll just add the glue here. Again, these are kind of shiny, so you kind of have to press on them. Just want to make sure it's straight to hold them down a little bit. Let that glue grab, which is why I like to sew over them. And then same with this. This will glue this on as well. And adjust it so we don't see the word bus. So right about there. And hold it down again. Let it grab on those photos. It just takes a little bit more pressure to make sure that they grab hold. Cover my glue up again. Ah. let's see how we're done and then this will go right here okay so what I want to do is stitch around to this and then we will stitch around the whole thing but let me just do this for now so I will do that and come right back all right got that stitched let me just cut these down a little bit All right, so we've got that stitched on. 
And let's see, I want to give this some thought here. I want to stamp. So let me grab a few stamps. I think I will just use Tim Holtz Field Notes CMS 396. And I'm just going to grab a few different ones on here. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think I want to use this one. So, let me see. Let me grab a block. Okay. I just want to add a few things around the outside of this. So, let's do this one. And I'm going to put that here. Okay. Scrap piece of paper. And let's see. I want to use identification check. So let's use that one. Let's see if it's going to fit on here. It's a little bit long. Let me grab this long one. And I think I want to put that right down here. Okay. That one. And I have another stamp set that I just got. And it's this one. Let me turn this around. It is Globeland. And it's got this Southern Railway stamp here, and I want to use part of that. I'm hoping I can try to use part of it for the top. I just really want it to have the Southern Railway. So I think what I'll do is use a piece of paper. And let me see. Let me get this stamped. Put the ink on here. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Okay, so let's do this. I really got lucky on that one. Southern Railway, Western Section. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave as is. <laughs> um, let's see. What other things? Let's put some other things on here. How about uh, just a number? Let's do this long number right there. Get my block. Center that better. Ooh, and straight. Okay. So we'll put a number here. And let's see, what else? Let's add one of these. Uh, I'm going to add this other number set, I think, on this side. So let's do that. Just some numbers for the tree. Just trying to add some interest. Again, I haven't been too worried about does it go with it. I'm just trying to add some interest. And let's see, what else do we have here possibly? Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo. Maybe this round seal, I can use just parts of it. Talks about dispatch, crew dispatch. 
So how about if I just do something here? Like that. Yeah, I like that. And then my maybe, let's just do something here. And then let's grab our badge and see how that looks. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like I can do a couple of other little things here. Let's try... Let's just do some numbers on the side. Even if it gets covered up, there'll be at least a little bit something there for interest. So let's do that here. Yeah, and then maybe something else right there. Maybe this one again. Let's do this one again. And put that right here. And that's just going to give some interest around the badge. So we'll have something like that. Okay. I think we're done stamping. So before I put this badge on, I want to go ahead and sew around this. I want to make sure this is what I want to do. I think I want to put a tab out the top. So let me grab my tab bun, punch. Let me fold a piece in half and let me punch one of these. So this is the tab punch I'm using. Oops, can't really see with that glare. Shot it across the room. Okay, so this will be the tab. Let me get my phone folder and press that. So I'm kind of thinking of putting something here at the top. Just about like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's grunge it up first of all. Both sides. Whoops. All right, now let's see. Let's just stamp something on it from something that we have already here. So let's use the same numbers. So let's do that. Fallen leaves again. Got too much stuff around me. Okay. one there. Not looking for super perfection. Okay. There we go. I want to make sure this is dry. And I will stitch that right in there. Make sure that's dry. Let me put a couple of clamps on here just to hold the two pieces together. I'll put one here and I want to make sure it's lined up. I'll put one here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch that and then I'll be right back. Okay. I have it all stitched. You can see it better on this side. I stitched this in. Um, I'm going to just... I had the uh, other side that I was going to use. If you notice, it looks different. I changed my mind the last minute. I just decided it was just too much of the brown. And so I'm just going to grunge up this back. Even though I already sanded the other, I just kind of like this better. Okay, so now we've done that. This is all sewn on. 
stamped, sewn around here. We've added this tab. So now let's go ahead and finish it up. So I want to add the badge and it's in two pieces. So I'm going to glue this one down first and then I'm going to glue this over it. So I just want to make sure I get it straight when I go to put this on. So I'm going to add the glue. I'm adding extra glue around the, the uh, brads just to hold them into place. On the edges and now I'm just going to line it up kind of want it like that pressing down on it just going to hold it for a few seconds want everything to grab hold good before we put the frame around it Make sure the brads are down good. This metal plate will just wiggle a little bit and that's okay. Not too worried about that. Everything else, as long as it's secured down, then I'm happy. And the extra glue will take hold and it's okay if this moves a little bit. It's not going to be a problem. So we've got that. I'm loving it. I had no idea what I was going to be doing. but coming together okay so now we just put the frame around it so good thing we have this tiny tip putting the glue all around and this is paper it's cardstock so it's not going to have any problems sticking like um, the glossy paper does so just going to line it up Making sure it's matched up to the actual piece. And then press it down. Hold that for a couple seconds. Just want to make sure it grabs hold. So I'm just going to keep pressing on it just to make sure everything is down good. It's looking good. I've had a lot of fun doing the train series, doing a few things. We did the tickets the one week, along with airline tickets, and then did uh, this week, we did the train little flip folio, and we've done the film strip with trains, and now we have our train agent ID badge. I'm having a ball making all these various ID badges. I'm just getting creative. I have no idea usually what I'm doing at the time. But I'm liking it when it, it ends up being finished. Okay. So the last thing that I want to do is I want to add some eyelets. And I want to put the eyelets on all four corners. So I'm using these. They're kind of like a gunmetal kind of silver. I didn't have anything straight silver, but I thought these would look vintage -y enough. So I'm going to add those on all four corners. Grab my crocodile using the large uh, punch, and I'm just going to punch on all four corners, not where the stitching is. I don't want to punch the stitching. One more. Just in the right spot for the badge. That worked out perfect. Okay. Let's put our eyelets in. I think adding metal pieces, eyelets, um, this Tim Holtz metal piece. I have a bunch of them and I've been wanting to use them, just trying to come up with ideas of how to use them. So this one worked out perfect. Making a badge, an actual badge, like an officer of the train. He's like a, like an air marshal would be, I guess, but for trains. Someone who's there in case there's a problem. Kind of looks like 
looks like a train guy. Okay, you know what? We're finished. Let's see, do I want to stamp something? Maybe I want to stamp that circle again on the back. Let's do that. And let's just use fallen leaves again. We'll just do the same thing. So let me grab that, put it on here. And get it the right way. And let's just put it here in this corner. I'm not sure if that's going to go right because of the badge there. So I'll just press it down a little bit. Yeah, that works. I think I have a little bit of lifting right here. Let me grab some glue real quick. Put it on this tiny edge here. There we go. Okay, train agent. He doesn't need to have his name. He's supposed to be incognito so that nobody knows he's an agent, but he's got his badge with him. So that's what I'm going with. <laughs> I'm sure I could have come up with some kind of stamping around this, but I kind of like it just the way it is. So I'm going to leave it. And his number, badge number is 543 for the train. And this is the Southern Railway. I like it. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys will give these a try. I'd love to see what you do. Um, I always link where you can find me. You can always comment below. Um, you guys always have some very nice comments. So I'm very happy to answer any of those. Then questions you have, I will try to link everything I possibly can below. Um, the die, I won't be able to, but if you just look for something in that shape, uh, various dies, I think it's probably like a frame type die, you, hopefully you can find something like that. Let me move this paper out of the way. And let's get a clean sheet of paper so you guys can see the badge better. I'll just hold it up. Okay, that's our project for today. We'll see you next week. I have no idea what I'm coming up with for next week. I'll be racking my brain for that one. But I'm glad you joined me. Hopefully you'll give this a try. And we'll see you at the next video. So you all have a great day. God bless you all. Bye!